Hello everyone, another beautiful day in the Napa Valley. Today we're gonna give you a sneak peek of our mystery case. I'm Rene Schlatter alongside Maryville winemaker Andrew Wright. So let's get into it, Andrew. Uh, we have three wines, three of our favorites that you'll have in the mystery case. Uh, we'll start with the Stand Ranch Pinot. Yeah, fantastic example of Carneros Pinot from our estate vineyard down in uh, off Stanley Lane in Carneros. We have about 25 acres planted there, down there to Pinot. It's a great year, the 2015. It's a little warmer growing season, so you have a really rich concentration, but at the same time, you have the acidity from the climate down there, and it really makes a beautifully balanced Pinot Noir, I think. Yep. Old Dijon clone, right? 667. Clone 667. Uh, particular wine, pretty complex, pretty. Uh, I think it's old world meets new world a little bit. You've got definitely some of the fruit that you get in Carneros, but a little bit of the uh, maybe funkiness that you find in the new world Pinot Noir. So I think it's uh, it's in a great place right now, five, six years of age. So uh, enjoy that one. Uh, the next one is the Chairman Selection uh, 2015 as well. And that comes from a, a property that's a hillside property, 95% uh, Cab, a little bit of Malbec in that rest of it i guess five percent so pretty big uh, pretty big wine uh being hillside fruit but uh, i think uh again with a few years of age uh, drinking uh, yeah drinking as well. beautifully right now I'm, what i love about this is it's hillside but it's volcanic hillside so down the southeastern kind of corner of the napa county there um, high elevation you got the volcanic soils so a really interesting expression in napa valley known for having you know, two different mountain ranges and also a bunch of different soil types. So this is a really great example of mountain fruit, volcanic soils. It's powerful, it's got big tannins, but at the same time, they're well integrated because of you know, the age on this wine. I think it's showing really lovely today. Yeah, and then my all time favorite, well, I guess we'll just dump those here. I'm gonna drink uh, mine. <laughs> drink yours, uh, is the uh, St. Lina Cab. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Uh, that is from the property we are uh, standing on here right now. Uh, it's our Profile Estate. Uh, we make two wines from that property. Uh, profile, obviously, and then this is the second wine, the St. Lina Cab, 2013. So I'll let you maybe say a few words about that one. Yeah, 2013, another kind of warmer growing season. A nice even growing season, but some heat spikes, definitely. It's kind of the first of the drought years, so less water. You get a little bit more concentration in the fruit, but at the same time, I think you have those velvety tannins. It's supple. I remember when this wine was really young, maybe the first couple years, the tannins were a lot harsher, but time has mellowed this out. You can see behind us, you know, the beautiful mountain estate here. So this block here, E block, actually goes into this wine. So pretty cool that we're standing here right next to this, this block. Um, and again, just in a really, really beautiful place, seven years, eight years now from the vintage. So I think it's prime time, really great yeah, time to drink it. Yeah. Big wine, uh, mountain fruit, uh, usually have, uh, you know, big tannins, but they have had time to soften now with uh, eight yeah. years in the bottle, or it's eight years since vintage, I should say. Uh, you'll get actually two bottles of the St. Lina Cab, and uh, awesome. one of each of the other two. So if you do a quick math, I mean, just the St. Lina Cab and the chairman basically pays for the for the case, and you'll get uh, another uh, eight bottles. So it's a, it's basically a no-brainer. So it's like Christmas, right? <laughs> <laughs> Christmas wine so, case, I'm into that. Uh, hope you guys enjoy those wines, and uh, come and visit us. Cheers. Cheers.